Hey Libra, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for the month of April 2023 for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look. We're going to see what could be coming in for you guys in love and romance. If you enjoy these readings, you want more just like this one, be sure to let me know. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want a personalized reading, all the details are below. You can go to my website. I also have an Etsy shop where I do video recorded readings as well as Etsy message readings. I have my tarot, oracle decks, spiritual jewelry, and cheat sheets, okay? Today we're going to start off with the sacred signs and symbols oracle deck. This is one of my decks on Etsy. Let's take a look at what is coming in for you guys. Libra. Crystal pendant, okay? Some of you guys, you connect with crystals, okay? Divine guidance, spiritual answers, intuition, okay? A lot of you guys are being challenged here, okay? To use your intuition regarding a situation. You may be looking for guidance. You may be looking for direction, okay? And it feels like there's some kind of spiritual, like, enlightenment you're receiving, okay? Some of you guys are looking for answers. You're questioning things pertaining to love. Um, some of you guys are on a crystal healing journey. I mean, you're just, you're really uh, healing something here. Um, but there's something here that I feel you're unclear about. And you're being asked to use your intuition, strengthen your intuition, okay? So let's take a look at what this could be for you guys. Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In the recent past, Libra, yeah, Three of Swords. So some of you guys, you've gone through some kind of really painstaking, heartbreaking situation. It brought forth a lot of emotional pain, loss, grief, right? Three of Swords could be any of those uh, things. But it also feels like this could be betrayal, third party, could be anything. And that's why you're looking for guidance. You're trying to look for guidance on how to get out of this, how to release something, how to heal, how to forgive, perhaps even, okay? We also have the High Priestess in the Verse and the Hierophant. So this could be a Taurus, this could be a Pisces. In the past, something was revealed to you, okay? There could have been something revealed regarding a commitment you had. Maybe there's a marriage you were in. Um, it feels like there's something related to a commitment you had with someone, so maybe that's why it hurts so so deeply, okay? Because that three of swords is like having to heal, having to, you know, you've gone through something very, very um, difficult and challenging, maybe because of that hierophant, because you were so committed, because you were so invested. High Priestess in the verse, again, something was revealed to you. It could be a secret, okay? It could be something that came out. This can also be a lot of you guys not using your intuition with regard to making decisions regarding other people, three of swords, okay, third parties, even maybe you were in a third party situation and you didn't listen to your intuition. Two of swords is here. Libra. There's a big head of a heart decision. It feels like this decision is yours. Two of swords can be literally, um, it's challenging. You don't know what, which direction, what to choose, okay? There could be literally two options, two people, two paths. You're having to make a logical decision and not use your emotions in making this decision. Now, the chariot is here. There is an opportunity where you can be very victorious. You can succeed. You can be successful. You can achieve something that you've been wanting and manifesting. Maybe it feels like you haven't been able to manifest this. But with this decision that you're making, it feels like you're going to be on that path again. So whatever this decision is, maybe there's someone that you're connected with, Libra, and you're having to choose a particular direction. And it feels like a lot is on the line, okay? Especially if things haven't been going in the direction that you've been wanting it to go. Some of you have been dealing with someone you feel is a trickster, okay? The magician universe could be someone who likes things to be done their way, right? They could be very self-serving. Let's see what's going on external to you. We have the nine of wands, ace of swords in reverse, a six of wands in reverse, and the sun. Big Leo energy here. Now, external to you, there's someone that is not communicating very effectively or thoroughly. Maybe they're holding back some kind of information here. Ace of Swords in verse makes me feel like this person is not very forthcoming and honest about things, okay? And maybe you found that out the hard way. The sun could be something that is hidden, something that is not seen. It could be secrets. It could be things um, that are just blocked. It could be you also feeling like you've been in the dark regarding a situation, okay? Not being clear about someone's intentions, not being clear about what they want, and not knowing where things were going to go, okay? Now, I definitely feel like whoever this person is, they feel they have failed you. 
Six of Wands in the verse, they have not been able to achieve what they wanted. There's the energy of not being able to be seen or respected or even recognized by you, Libra. So maybe you've turned your back on this person after what they've done. You may even be going down a new direction with the chariot because you want that victory because you have a goal in mind, okay? Now, the Nine of Wands is telling me that your person is thinking about what they can do better. Nine of Wands, putting in the effort. This is someone who's very determined. They want to persevere. They want to overcome some kind of hardship or setback, something where they haven't been able to get what they want. In the end, Six of Wands, again, there's a feeling of a failure. So, there's something they're not communicating with you. And it feels like, I even feel like your person isn't telling you how unhappy they are. The sun in the verse could be feeling like stuck in the dark. Not really sure what's to come in. Now the strength in the verse, more Leo energy. We have the Knight of Cups coming in, a love offer, Queen of Cups in the verse. I definitely feel like there's someone that you're not trusting with regard to your heart, okay, with regard to love. The Queen of Cups and the Strength makes you feel like there's some kind of tug of war that you're having with regard to someone and offering your cup and letting this person, you know, see you in, in a vulnerable place or being open and, you know, I'm just getting the energy of fearing, okay, being afraid of putting yourself out there again, okay, especially on the emotional level. But the Knight of Cups could suggest that someone is going to make an offer in love. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone has a cup to provide to you. There's a pursuing, okay, with regard to heartfelt feelings, emotions. Someone wants to, like, relay something to you regarding their love for you. I don't know if this is going to be received well, okay? Because the Queen of Cups in verse, someone is so hurting, emotionally wounded, or burdened. And the strength in the verse is telling me that, you know, they're a little bit afraid. So this could be you, Libra. Let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. If you enjoy these readings, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. Crystal Pendant. I definitely feel like, again, you guys may be connecting with crystals. I'm getting amethyst for sure. You may be on a healing journey. Crossing that is the Queen of Wands in a verse. Maybe there was a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries, that you were dealing with. Or I'm even feeling like this could be some kind of interference. Some of you guys, you you weren't listening to the signs, okay, you were getting. The intuition, your, your intuition was blocked. You were not aware. Um, and with the Queen of Wands, maybe there was someone, a third party, right? Maybe there was someone else in a picture and you didn't believe it. That could be definitely um, what I'm seeing here. In the recent past, Three of Swords. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the verse and the Empress. Someone definitely did not see your value or worth. I mean, the Empress in the verse, Libra, this could be you. You were not being seen. You were not um, valued, okay? I feel like you definitely had a lot to offer. You were desirable, but someone didn't treat you like the Empress. And so there was a missed opportunity, I'm seeing the energy as someone more focused on what they wanted, assets, money, resources, perhaps someone could be very, very materialistic. I'm even feeling like maybe, you know, they jumped into a commitment of some sort, the Herfon, but then there was a missed opportunity because of someone's inability to uphold this commitment, okay? There's something here about a commitment that didn't really go through, okay? So whatever this looks like, maybe you guys were married and this person stepped out of a commitment. Maybe you guys had a lot of shared values regarding commitment, but it never happened. There was something going on with that. Now the high priestess, something hidden, two of wands. So there could have been some indecisions regarding other people. The high priestess could be a secretive person, like a third party. Um, and the two of wands could be someone unsure about what they wanted, okay? Queen of wands is here. Perhaps it was a third party, like a passionate lover that someone was dealing with. And the Three of Swords is heartache. It's, it's heartbreak. It's betrayal. So for some of you guys, you were definitely caught up in a third party situation. And a lot of you are getting out of it because the Two of Swords is here with the Chariot. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you are the Queen of Pentacles. You know what you bring to the table. Queen of Pentacles, she's secure, male or female, grounded, okay, loyal, very strong family values. Um, I see the energy of the Four of Cups and the Fool. I would definitely say some of you guys, you may have felt like you weren't good enough. This person could have rejected you, made you feel like you didn't have much to offer. But the Four of Cups is definitely like telling me in reverse with the Fool, you'd be foolish to think that, right? Because a Fool card, it actually makes me feel like your person is the one who missed out on an opportunity. I feel like there was someone that maybe you were dealing with that actually had trust issues, okay? And that's why something wasn't able to move forward or come together or manifest, okay? It's like they tricked themselves or sabotaged this relationship. 
Four of Cups, again, feeling of a missed opportunity. So maybe initially you felt that way. But with the Chariot, a lot of you, you're going down a new direction that is going to be very successful and um, victorious for you. But you're having to make that decision. And the devil in a verse could be removing yourself from someone that is blocking your abundance. The devil could be a Capricorn. It feels to me like there is an energy of moving away, letting go, purging, releasing something that is not for your highest and greatest good. But there's a big decision you're having to make, Libra, and maybe you're having to completely cut out someone from your life because, well, they're not serving your highest good. Something here isn't manifesting. Give me what your person isn't saying. Ace of Swords and Verse could definitely mean your person is not communicating something behind the scenes. The hangman, the death, and the verse, and a high priestess. They're very secretive, but they're also, you know, very discreet, okay? There's something that they're not always forthcoming about. I think you know this already. You've been here before. The death and the verse, again, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Pisces, it could be anybody. But the death is indicating of some kind of ending. Some kind of ending may have happened very abruptly, but it doesn't feel like your person is, like, really letting this go, okay? It doesn't feel like your person is ready to let you go, Libra, because the hangman suggests that your person is looking at a situation differently, coming to some kind of um, enlightenment, realization. They're looking at it from a different perspective and they see a need to have some kind of renewal, revival. This is someone that may want to resurrect the connection, but this is secretly happening. This is something they're not speaking about. They're not telling you. This is brewing behind the scenes and the death in the verse could be indicating your person wanting a second chance, a new opportunity to revive and resurrect this connection. I think the hangman is saying that I've had time to think about it and I don't know what I was thinking. I actually want to give this a second try. Temperance in reverse. Is it too late? Okay, there could be some concerns about it being too late. Um, someone has failed you. They failed to see your worth. They failed to see your value. And the temperance in reverse could mean like the time is up. Very possible. Maybe you're done with the Sagittarius Libra. But I feel like the ball is in your court. You have that decision to make. Temperance in reverse also makes you feel like your person is very anxious and worried because they've lost a place in your life, right? They may be certainly wanting a new beginning with a full card, but let's face it, Libra, you don't have the same trust in this person you did before because of their past actions and behavior. So yeah, this person feels like a failure. They haven't been able to get some kind of victory. And it even feels like the temperance your person could be waiting for the right time or, or opportunity to come back where they can have some kind of breakthrough, change with you, the sun. Someone feels like there's still an opportunity here. Three of Wands in the verse and the Five of Cups. Your person feels awful, okay? There's a lot of sorrow, a lot of guilt, okay? Because your person wishes they had done something better. They have done you better. They have... Um, being able to be there for you, support you, you know, maybe there were some things they said that they're not, um, you know, they're thinking about now and they wish they hadn't said it. Your person is in a very dark place with the sun in the verse and the five of cups. It can speak about mild depression, um, but also waiting for the right opportunity for something to come back around where they can have another chance at being victorious and accomplishing something here. Okay, that is the energy here. The sun in the verse, I feel like your person, again, in the dark about how things are going to move forward. The future, what does it look like for you and them? Um, if your person gets a chance, I see the Knight of Cups as them like kind of putting themselves out there and saying, hey, you know what? Maybe we can see if we can have another ch a chance at this relationship. Knight of Cups is a love offer. Four of Swords in the verse, there's some stress, there's some anxiety. I would say that your person's stressed out. Libra, you certainly could be stressed out if your person were to come in and be at your doorstep and wanting a new beginning, okay? It could bring some stress. It could bring some anxiety, like, why are you here? It feels a little unsettling, okay? Someone is definitely wanting to make peace, and they want to know if you'd be willing to fight for this, okay? There's the energy of the Seven of Wands where it's like, where do you stand? Are you willing to fight for this as much as I am? And perhaps with the strength and the verse, you may feel, you know, entitled to kind of pull away. You may feel... You may have reservations, you may have doubts, okay? And so it does feel like there's still some, you know, emotional hurt here. Queen of Cups in a verse, someone is a little bit reluctant to open up with regard to their feelings again. Um, the Six of Swords is here. But there will be an opportunity for you and your person, Libra, to resolve something. There's the energy of going into peaceful, calm waters. So even with any type of emotional upset, disappointments in the past, there is an energy of moving away from that. Okay, there's an the energy of like no longer being in this really uncomfortable, tentious, contentious place. Okay, there's some kind of peace or resolution that you guys are coming to. So that is what I'm seeing, Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is for the early half of April. And um, I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care.